Hello! Sorry, everybody, for the long wait. Just, uh, had some stuff going on over here. So, what is up, everybody? It's been a while since I have reacted to anything Star Rail related. Man, it's been forever. But it's finally here. The 2.5 special program announcement. And I am, like, legitimately excited for this. We're going to be getting Face Shao, Ling Sha, and, and Moza. Like, legitimately, I am just really hyped for seeing this. I'm also really hyped for just getting the last three Eidolons for March 7th. And, ooh. Shadow Ravenous, I hope you're not spoiling. I hope that, I hope that's a guess. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I gotta pause it. I gotta, I gotta pause it real quick. I gotta pause it real quick because the timer's going so much faster than I was expecting. And I was like, I didn't get to go over everything that I wanted to say. All right, all right, all right. I'm really excited to see the next portion of the story. I'm really hyped to get those last few Eidolons of March 7th because I'm, I've already maxed her out and everything. So I want her to be the best she can possibly be because I love my, uh, my Astral Express crew. Even though I'm still missing the key member of the Express, Himiko, she still will not come home. <laughs> I don't know why. In any case, I am also really, really freaking scared because I don't know who the reruns are for this banner. And I'm so scared that Acheron is one of them. Please, please don't let Acheron be one of them. Like, I need that to be as far away from now as possible. Please. But yeah. Um, as for who I would like to see the reruns, I'm putting my guess as Dr. Ratio is at least one of them. At the very least. And I think for the other one, I really, I'm really undecided. Um, because... It, it, it's really weird because we don't actually know, like, based on everything, it could be Black Swan and that would even everything out. I don't know. I, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to go off base here. I'm going to put my money on Aventurine. Um, I'm going to I'm going to say Dr. Ratio Aventurine just because you know what? The the sheer love these two have for each other. It's only right that they get to be on the same patch. And now I don't, and now I can probably put this about here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, turn the captions on. 3, 2, 1, let's go! This program is brought to you by the International. Uh, oh, hold on. It's brought to us by the International Peace Corporation? What is that, if not a sign of Dr. Ratio and Aventurine? Has a day -night cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm your good buddy, March 7th. Wait, what happened to Albert? If we went to the Cien Show, we'd heard about the war dance ceremony, and now look. Did I Albert get replaced again? Cien Show Lofu, where the ceremony will be held, bringing you the first on-site report. Hey, also, the, oh, there he is. Because we're shooting outside doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. <laughs> State etiquette, remember? Uh, don't worry, Albert. Albert, I let her have her fun. Training under my new masters, and those moves Wait, hold on. Is Albert at the corner of my screen? And I just don't. <laughs> and look at my outfit. Isn't it just so cute? <laughs> See, this he is how an amateur host behaves. What kind of host starts showing off their outfit before they even finish introduction? How do you know the audience doesn't want to see this? Hey, chat, let us know how you feel about my outfit. <laughs> oh, thank you. Me having thank to do this. So oh, much. my God. Uh, there we go. As a host with many years of experience, let me remind <laughs> our amateur host who's only done this twice. It's time to start the program. Hey, uh, you uh, leave okay. March alone. Uh, She's okay. doing her Explore best, Albert. Cienjo with March 7th. We're not at that park yet. Huh? Oh, uh, all for just $19.99. This Wait. special discount is only available from the Interstellar Shopping Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's for $19.99? Forget it. 
Hold on, what's for, wait, 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 no, what's I want to what, 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 I want to know what's for 1999. Bitch. Oh. Oh. To the war dances Wait, is that motherfucking Luca? Both fighters are ready. Hold, hold the phone. Howard, what are you doing here? Something ominous has arrived. Oh, Lingsha looks good. Welcome, Miss Lingsha. I am Preceptor Tauron. Who is this? Okay, is this gonna be a new enemy? Tauron? Looks like the Alchemy Commission is involved There is so much going on right now. Indeed. I helped plot the prison break in the Shackling prison. Man, they are just spoiling everything right now, huh? Oh my god, Face Shao looks so good. I'll see the general's duty through to my last breath. Why is she so hot? Holy shit! That was a fucking Getsuga Ten show if I ever saw one. Wait. Will pierce the heart of every monster. Wait, hold on. Is she going to die? Is she going to die? And also, oh my god, that artwork is gorgeous. Hot damn! See, say what you want about this company, but their art is on point. Okay, th th these are just literally the codes that... The codes are in the Discord, literally. Uh, and genuinely, you can probably Welcome find them the like on Twitter or something. Flying, or you shot to Lupine Rue. Here, I'll, I'll be fair. I'll, I'll post them in the chat real quick because I don't know who hasn't gotten the codes and who hasn't. I always post them in my Discord, so... All right, control C. Control V. Press. Okay, there we go. And we'll pin that to the top of chat for the rest of the stream. There we go. Program. I'm sure you all are brimming with anticipation after seeing that I am, that in fact, brimming with, with anticipation, mind, Albert. Let's send it back over to our correspondent on the CN show and see what's been happening there. Hello, March 7th. Did you... You, I just got Martha, Hello, where the Hello, uh, I Martha, just yeah, moved myself schedule. over here. Uh, Could you briefly yeah, describe I... to us? <clears throat> uh, 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 Seems like there's a little delay. Huh? How about this, March 7th? Then I'll Why just don't get you just say? <laughs> okay, I'll be quiet. <sighs> Uh, dear viewers, this I am at the venue thing. where the war dance will take place. The sky I just splitter. moved myself over there specifically it for this situation. Like something big will happen on the Sienjo in this very spot. One of the <gasps> March, March 7th? You doing okay? No, 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 the new cauldron master uh, of the of food. This, 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 this guy. I am Lingsha. It's a pleasure to meet everyone. The Merlin's Claw, the Xianjo This guy, Yashi. these people. Fei Shao. He Hi, knows. Everyone. General Fei Shao is yeah. busy dealing with some very important things. Fuck so you, Albert. She asked the little food to have someone fill in for her. If you guys want to see Albert, just go no. watch the official live Finally, stream. The shadow guard and also, it's Little Gui. It's Little Gui. We love Gwenaifen. Mo Here, the master of Let's illusions and again, ninjutsu. Welcome everyone with a warm round of applause. <clears throat> Part 7. Are you there? Our Looks like March might have a problem. Is it serious? <laughs> it's just it's just it's basic like streamer stuff. Don't worry, Gwenaifen, you're probably used to it. Mr. Albert, 
There's no need to apologize. These things happen. We all understand. Please do not stress so much. It's not good for your health. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't want someone so to turn right. you into a Kentucky Fried yeah, Albert. Let's just focus on our studio for now. At the end of the last version, some not so great things happened on the Law Fool. Mr. Albert. Yeah, the Borison escaped. They've invited so many people to this war dance. It's a huge deal. How could something like yeah, a prison break I, I in get a cycling prison A lot of people now? have joked that it's Mr. basically Albert, Sila's color scheme. Let's suppose you want with Sampo's weaponry. To exceed this program's budget. Would you follow all the right procedures to get your request approved? Uh -oh. Or would you mix it in with a bunch of other applications the day before a public holiday? Uh, how did you know I... I just, the war dance, with the chaos of all the visitors from abroad, provides a similar opportunity Probably for need to, move to take those captions of. a little bit. Suppose, also, a little rabbit snuck into this studio. Would Mr. Albert let it hide and chew on the wires? Or would he put a few carrots on the table to try and catch it? Rabbits don't chew on wires. I think Miss Lingshaw is just using an analogy. I There's not really a good place to put these things. Base. Is this what General Jing Sorry. You win meant by There's not really a good place drinks. to put the captions. They're you just going to get caught up by the chat anyway, so sorry, guys. Left for me. It says we need to take this opportunity to give the Law Fu a good cleanup. There's some place on the law foo that's dirty? Mm. Please be assured. The Cloud Knights have already arrived. What do you guys think? Do you think there's a place on the law foo that efforts. could count as General dirty? Will personally lead her troops and Actually, yeah, I think the Shackling Prison is probably and very the dirty. Of the surface of the law foo. General Jing Yuan will go to the Shackling Prison and investigate how this incident played out, while General Huayan will assist with overseeing the affairs at the law foo's six commissions. Whew. Here in the generals are Wait, what is the six commission already? <laughs> but what about Mr. Zhao Cho? He's still with the Borison. General Fei Xiao says she knows Zhao Cho has his own reasons for doing this, whether it's to pin down the enemy or gather intelligence. Ooh, I hope Zhao Cho takes care of himself. I'll find him. Uh -oh. I promise. Uh, uh, Rosen Green. Part seven. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put the captions if down I at the bottom. So bold to ask, They'll probably still get blocked by the model, understand. but I, if I don't know. I don't like them at the top. The Foxian's greatest enemy. Why hasn't the Yaoqing gotten rid of him in these past seven hundred years? Because he's immortal. Sent people to visit him. Uh, apparently, it has something to do with never dying in eternal punishment or something. My notes suggest asking General Jing Yuan later. He can Can I ask this? Can I just genuinely ask this? Why is it that every time there's some kind of ancient civilization and it's like, okay, eternal damnation and punishment, we're the, the, the first solution you people have is let's give the bad guy immortality and super regeneration and more power than they could ever reasonably need. Like, it didn't work for the it didn't work for the ancient Egyptians in the in the mummy movie. And it sure as hell ain't working for you guys here on in the Xianjo. Why the fuck do you people keep doing this? There is no reason to give your 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 mortal enemy eternal life. Why are you this stupid? I'm done. He's better at explaining these things. It looks like Miss Lingshaw's questions will be cleared up in the Trailblaze Continuance. Oh, will the they? Stool under the pristine blue. Will they? Too. The only thing left is the task of defeating Hule. I, I, I. Hey, March, are you volunteering again? <sighs> Seems like it's not lagging anymore on my end. Can you hear me? No. <laughs> I can hear you. <sighs> Awesome. This is all going to turn up to be a setup by Albert, just so that March doesn't Where take his job. Hule? Huh? <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough jokes for now. The audience. Who, who's joking? No, March seventh is totally going to murder day. Hule. <gasps> Beishao! Oh my God, she's so hot and so pretty. Get to get ten show, bitch! 
Wait a minute. I just... Hold up, 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 hold up. I just fucking realized... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, what? Okay. I just fucking realized this. Okay. Let me give it a second. Okay, this right here, that's Getsuga Tensho. Hold on, where is it? It's Shunpo! <laughs> oh man, I was fucking joking that she's uh that she's jolter coated, but no, Face Shao is bleach coated, motherfuckers! <laughs> she's a bleach character! That's so fucking good! I I'm gonna have so many people being like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Like, how is that first one, Getsuga Tensho? Like, if you've ever seen, like, when Getsuga Tensho got released, it was literally, like, as a powerful attack that, like, tore upward. Oh, my God. This is great. They're making Feishao so much better. And that, and th when I say Shunpo, that's the move by Yuruichi. But now, uh, design-wise, she's totally jolter coated General Feishao, Like she's even got the she's the even got the flag. He's known as the vanquishing general in the alliance. Today, we're she prefers to, to be called the lacking general, general Albert. Battle. The general said, "Great victories are won by the whole army. It would be quite narcissistic and inappropriate of me to take all the credit." <laughs> that is a general, good impression, Gwenaifen. Lacking worries, regrets, and rivals. We can also add. Lacking in care for others' opinions of her, <laughs> lacking in respect for her doctor's advice, <laughs> and lacking in peers when she's had too much to drink. That's what Zhao <laughs> Cho said, and I agree. Oh, you know Is what? I'm really loving Fei Xiao even Everyone more. Everyone has their own way of doing things. I find this kind of general very interesting. But still, she's great. You really listen to your doctor. Uh huh. Gotta follow the doctor's orders. Says who? The storyteller always talks about how General Feishao leads the charge in battles. I just never thought she'd be so... What's the word again? Careless? Care we love careless. I heard the word we love our careless general. Are an elite force composed mostly of Foxians. They're the arrowheads in the hunt for abominations. And their fighting style is exactly like General Fei Shao's. I leave the strategizing to people like Jing Yuan and Yao Guang. My duty is to who's, be the arrow. Who's that Yao Guang? The of the is that a character we're going to meet later? <laughs> uh, I've recently been learning some Sienjo martial arts. Did General Fei Shao leave any training secrets that you could share with me? Uh. The general didn't mention anything, but according to Su Shang, on the Yao Qing, they probably do 60 sets of strength exercises and then run 20 miles for cardio. Aww, oh boy. I think I underestimated the Yao Qing. Good luck, general March. You're going to need it. Me this way. It's not bad. Isn't there a saying like, life lies in movement? Running makes you happy, so everyone should give it a try. No, Only with I'm too fat and lazy to run, okay? Can you, you know what makes me happy? Chowing down else. on a bag of hot fries. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the general's heroism in battle. General Fei Xiao follows the path of the hunt and excels hey Cal, how's in it going? all kinds of battles. Her basic oh, holy and shit, skill. that's a she big wolf. She damage to the enemy using gun blades and a battle axe, respectively. The general also works closely with her allies. After her teammates attack the enemy, Fei Xiao will launch a follow-up attack and increase the damage dealt to the enemy. General Fei Xiao accumulates Flying Aureus after every certain number of attacks. That's right. After okay. she uses her skill, Wait. Fei Xiao will immediately trigger her talent's follow-up attack one time. When she uses her ultimate, Fei Xiao consumes Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Flying Is she like Acheron? So, is she basically the hunt version of Acheron, so she doesn't have an energy bar? She has a charge bar instead? Is... Hold on, let me go back. ...follows the path of the hunt and excels in all kinds of battles. Her basic attack and skill deal wind damage to the enemy using gun blades and a battle axe, respectively. 
The general also works closely with her allies. After her teammates attack the enemy, Fei Xia will launch a follow-up attack and increase the damage dealt to the enemy. General Fei Xiao accumulates Flying Aureus after every certain number of attacks. Okay, That's right. interesting. After she uses her skill, Fei Xiao will immediately trigger her talent's follow-up attack one time. When she uses her ultimate, Fei Xiao consumes six points of Flying Aureus and carries out a series of attacks on the enemy. Yeah, no, with she's her absolutely at her, her set is very similar then to Acheron's. She strikes the enemy with a final blow. Flying Aureus can accumulate So you really want a points. team of different attackers more than anything else. Uh. In different states. For example, the gun blades deal more damage to weakness broken enemies. But if the enemy is not weakness broken, the battle axe deals more damage. The Merlin's claw swoop down. Striking the enemy with a force. My God! Did she just dragon sky. fist that thing? Flying Aureus oh, I love it. Spirit is bestowed upon the general by the rainbow. It's the source of her power and her duty. The general's technique is also very unique. Using it during exploration increases her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain radius. Wait, if the general what? Attacks, well, in her technique state, the enemies pulled in will enter calm. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. So she can allow you to pick up enemies and then drag their asses across the battlefield so that you can pick up more enemies to force a, wa a wave of fights. That is so fucking baller. What the hell? Bitch, that is so freaking funny. Exploration increases her movement speed and pulls in multiple enemies within a certain radius. If the general attacks while in her technique state, the enemies pulled in will enter combat and she will deal damage to all of them. The general will also That's gain nuts. flying Aureus points and the more enemies pulled in, the higher That's her damage. That's nuts. The Azure Dragon draws forward and the flying Aureus Yeah, that is weak. definitely the, the reckless they of mentioned. The general Fei Xiao is truly admirable. Let's just say she doesn't care what others think of her when she gets worked up. Oh, yeah, we got that. Oh my god, look at that art. And myriad Celestia videos will be released soon. Yes, please. In version 2.5. Give me give me the trailers. A brand new trial for the Trailblazers. I might be going a little nuts over this character, but you know what? Nobody can hold it against me. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this thing? Huh? Wait, is Face Shao gonna be a boss? Huh? Oh my god! Uh, looks like our tradition of fighting friends wherever we go continues. I smell the scent of blood. This flying Aureus state seems unusual. Yes, the opponent in this trial is a Dude. shadow of the general and an apparition of flying Aureus. Eclipse. Dude, interviews. that was so cool. Goes, if you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. <laughs> Before you take on the general's trial, I prepared an exclusive battlefield report for you. Ecliptic Inner Beast and Shadow of Fei Shao have three phases. Ecliptic okay. Inner Beast will join the battle starting from the second phase. Different parts of the beast can separately apply different debuffs to our team. In um. battle, Shadow of Fei Shao resonates with Ecliptic Inner Beast's parts. Resonate will cause the Inner Beast part's next action to be enhanced and greatly increase the threat they pose to the team. Oh, that is terrifying. Shadow of Fei Shao's ability deals massive damage to all targets. When using this ability, every part that is yet to be broken will increase the damage dealt by the ability. And the ability Wait, will enhance the What do you mean that every part that is yet to be broken? It what? It's like the best strategy is to weakness break the inner beast parts in resonant states as quickly as possible. Then, Shadow of Fei Shao is much less dangerous. Attacking the weakness broken inner beast parts will deal even more damage to Shadow of Fei Shao. 
After completing the trial, you will be able to obtain Auspice Slipper, Ling Sha and Moza's Advanced Trace Materials. Friendly reminder, the advanced okay. trace materials used by General Fei Xiao is Regret of Infinite Okuma. Next, I'd like to introduce of course the it new is. Cauldron Master, who has returned to the Law Fu from the Zhuming, Miss Ling Sha. Wait, actually, hold on. What were they saying? Trial, I prepared an exclusive Battlefield report for you. Can we go back to this? The slipper, Ling Sha and Moza's advanced tra advanced trace material. Huh? All right, wait. Advanced trace material. Trace materials. Friendly oh, reminder, Ling the Sha. Advanced trace materials used by General Fei Xiao is regret. I mean, that makes sense. That that makes sense. It's like, why would you fight Fei Xiao? In order to get Fei Xiao trace material, I, I've got plenty of these, so it's like I, I'm good, I'm good, but I still kind of, mm, I had to think about that because I was thinking, I was like, hold on, wait, what? I'm still po that Robin the musician did not get the musical stuff for her advanced trace material from the Sunday boss. That was. <laughs> That felt so stupid to me. But nah, this this one I guess makes sense. I think I've got like at least 30 of these just sitting in my bag right now. Because I always collect at least 30. And what's up, Sinisa? How's it going? My head spinning yet? Not of yet. Infinite Okuma. Next, I'd like to introduce the new Cauldron Master who has returned Ooh, to the law. It's Ling Sha's time. Please human. don't be good Miss that I want to roll Sha. for you. I mean, I might throw a multi just for the lols, but that depends. <gasps> Are those bunnies? Oh, I love rabbits! Oh, that's so... Okay, I like the look of that staff. It looks so cool. What was that? Wait, hold on, what? This Lingsha is as light and graceful as a wisp of smoke. And she has a very pleasant scent. <laughs> you when I've been, why display. are you sniffing Ling Sha? I am a healer, and I've always carried medicinal incense with me. I use fragrance. Why the hell are you sniffing her? And some of it always ends up sticking to me. We had a healer on the show last time, but all we could smell was spicy. Uh -huh. <laughs> the doctor Jiao Cho focuses on nutrition and food as medicinal therapy. I use incense to diagnose patients, and I'm very sensitive Yo, to Yo, where's my acupuncture After, healer? Every person has their own unique scent. What? Yeah, where, where's my healer with acupuncture abilities? Because that's all we're missing at this point. Where's my massage therapist abundance character? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I hear right? You use smell to diagnose illnesses? A smell can convey a lot of information. For example, while I mean, Mr. Mods to be fair, so faint, typically if you can't it. smell shit, you're it probably seems to sick. Be a combination of Your nose is stuffed up. Woody nose, concealing many stories. If you get Yan Ching, you'll be mm. shafted. As for uh, I don't want Yan Ching. He's already E1. The notes of fruit and the refreshing scent of citrus. It must mean Miss Gui. Dude, if I get Yan Ching, I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> that's where the roll session <laughs> ends. Not really all that amazing. I don't have I don't have enough to go to pity twice. Amazing. Because I also always want to get the light cone too. Hmm. Mr. Albert takes things in stride and is very clever. You have the scent of a very smart bird. Oh, you suck up. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. I heard that you returned to the Law Fu this time and urgently taken up the position of head of the Alchemy Commission. What's going on? <laughs> to be honest, after the Ambrosial Arbor disaster, which was not Jing Yuan's the fault, the Law Fu Alchemy Commission that have accumulated over the years have finally come to the surface. I got like, like two copies of his light comb before I got two, before I got one Here copy of Yan Chen. The it's Many the same with Clara, are actually. Obsessed with medical research. But they very rarely communicate with each other. Ooh, the factions and cliques are complicated and deeply entrenched. Fortunately, I've traveled and studied on many Xianzhou ships. 
so I have a deeper understanding of the commission's current <laughs> situation. Many? Is there more than the three that we know things, of? But it's rare to see something as messy as this. Wow. The I guess there has to be more than the three that we're dealing with now that I think work, about it. No? <laughs> oh, that's just how work is. These problems can't be addressed or solved in one day. But I do my best. But since I'm already here, I won't go easy. Oh, Hush, what Albert. Is that Chen Shui said? When the sky falls, there's always someone tall to hold it up. The Cauldron Master is both tall and capable. No matter how much trouble she faces, she'll Wait, be so able does to that mean she's it. that Ling Shai then uses the tall woman model? True, Miss March. Nice. Oh, and thank you to Mr. Albert for interpreting for me. The scent of this smart bird definitely has gourmand notes. Why do you look like you're about ready to cook, <laughs> Albert? I heard that not only is Ling Why did oh, hold on? We all saw that shadowy she is also face, quite right? Capable in combat. Ling Sha is about As to cook a, a bird. Healer, I excel at using incense to heal others, but also weaken enemies. In combat, oh? my skill deals damage to all enemies and restores HP for all allies. Oh. For my talent. My skill summons the incense beast, Fu Yuan. Fu Yuan launches a follow-up attack during its action. Wait. damage to all enemies. It wait, wait, hold up. Oh, why? Oh, fuck you, game? I have literally been sitting here and being like, man, I can't wait for them to finally produce the, the follow-up attack healer. Ah, oh, You fucking... Mm. I, oh, that is, that is not nice. That is not nice at all. I, is there a chance I can get Fei Xiao and Ling Sha within like a super fast number of pulls? Because I'm like, I'm already like, that would be great because I've been talking about how I need to build up a follow-up team and this would be the perfect excuse to do it. And that's not even getting into it. That automatically tells me that she is 100% designed to be a part of a Fei Xiao team. Yeah, we could try. Um, oh my God. I've only got 90. Because I was like, oh, I'm probably... Because honestly, at the time, I was like, oh, I mean, yeah, Ling Xia is cool. I, I genuinely am like... I wish I was paying more attention because I was also like Ling Sha is another character I might need because I do feel like my sustain side of my team is a uh, a little weak. My best sustain is probably Gallagher. Uh, my other one is probably Fu Shen, but I mostly only really use Fu Shen if I'm running uh, a quantum team, and that's usually like led by Sila. To be fair, I could run her with anything else, but that's just the main one I run her with. Also dispels one it is interesting that this game allows sustains HP. to have oh, such great long-running capability. You can run them for like ever. <laughs> it's a creature I created from inside the incense burner, and it helps me in battle. But since it's an incense beast, it dissipates like smoke after a few actions. <gasps> can we make it stay a little longer? Yes, it's not too difficult. When Fu Yuan is on the field, I only need to use my skill to increase its number of actions. When I use my ultimate, I deal damage to all enemies and heal all allies. At the same time, I inflict the befog state on all enemies. Enemies in this state also take more break damage. I, I doubt she. When I use my technique before entering battle, okay. I immediately summon Fu Yuan at the start of the next battle and inflict befog on all enemies. A okay, this is very interesting. Master. With your help on the team, your so... allies will be well protected. A She's a healer that and also I kind of specializes in doing a bit of damage. That's very interesting. <gasps> oh, even like, I, I don't think she's, dying. like, obviously she's not going to be, like, a DPS healer <laughs> or anything like that. But that's really, program. that's a really I'm nice so twist to it. Uh, what now? To be fair, we've already had, like, uh, sustain-wise, we've had a Venturine who is also a bit of a damage dealer. So it was My only a matter of time before we got a healer Shadow who could do it, too. Thankfully, we already had Gallagher as well, but Gallagher is more focused on break damage. Though it did sound like Ling Sha does a bit of that too. 
Moza! The truly most difficult character to nab, Moza. My work doesn't really lend itself to being in the limelight. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really think that through. It can't be helped. Mr. Albert, the general said this is Moza's first time doing a media interview. I apologize for his bluntness. Wait, wasn't he on no the worries. Keeping Up with Star Rail last time? Skill general to need a shadow guard to protect Hey, him. what's up, Immortal? How's it going? <laughs> Mr. Albert hasn't fully grasped the situation. A shadow guard working at the general's side isn't the same as a bodyguard. Uh, Mr. Moza is mainly in charge of gathering intelligence. Yeah, a bodyguard waits until the, the that until you're in with. danger. Moza seeks out the danger before it can strike. He's an assassin. This man fights crime, often hiding in the shadows, taking the heads of his targets. He strikes with extreme brutality and has scared off many people who intend to do evil. So he's Jout Batman? Show made that all up. But a Batman that Sounds kills? Like there be feathers all over the place. That's not me. I clean up after myself. <laughs> oh, you really are a perfectionist, Mr. Moza. That's right. The general said when we were all eating at Jiao Cho's place, Jiao Cho went to answer the phone halfway through. When he came back, I just I, I love how he said I clean up, the up after myself. And all the bowls. I did what I needed to. Uh, Mr. Moza, what are you doing? The floor is dirty. Oh yeah, I forgot that he has OCD. Eliminating years of stubborn filth. I forgot it's that he has OCD. It's so refreshing. funny. As expected of someone with so much initiative. Now, let's take a look at how Mr. Moza performs in battle. All right, All what right. you got? What you got, Moza? Mr. Moza is a lightning type character following the path of the hunt. Correct. His skill marks a single enemy as the prey and deals lightning damage to it. Okay. Yes. Mr. Moza, don't you have anything to add? Are you asking me to? Uh, um, no. All right, then. My talent will allow me to enter the departed state while a prey exists on the field. Fine. Which does then. what? In the departed state, after allies attack the prey, Moza deals additional damage ah, to the okay. prey. Ah, okay. Mr. Moza's ultimate. So we definitely want him for a face shout team. And launches a follow-up attack. After I use my technique... Actually, I, I just thought about it. Um, Attacking an enemy in stealth mode increases the damage dealt in combat. So you Ten might be good for a face Shao slain. team a little bit. A thousand miles. Depending on how you want to face. use her, I mean. The deed is done. His robes are clean. Like you probably he wouldn't use her for skill. All. You'd probably use her for Leaves basic attack no all the time. Trace. There's another advantage of hiding. But obviously. You can avoid Moza is better choice, or but yourself dirty. look, I don't know how to explain it. I'm just telling you what I'm thinking. I'd rather go with Moza. The program will continue after. Wait, sponsorship? What? All right, dear audience, we now have some special news for you. In like? version 2.5's first okay. half warp event, troll pages can acquire the limited five-star character Face Shao. The limited five-star light cone, I venture forth to Ooh, hunt. Ooh, wait, hold on. Luca copies? Boosted drop rate. I have in an E0 Luca, so that's pretty good, actually. I, I don't have them any higher, but I would like some Moza. Limited five-star characters, Robin, Black Swan, and Cop. Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. You're Man Hoyo versus such a <laughs> What? Dude, I fucking laughed when I saw that on the roster for some guesses. But my dudes, why? Why are you putting three fucking banners up at the same time? Kafka will return at the same time. The limited five-star light cones, flowing night glow, patience is all you need, and reforged remembrance will also return. Oh my god, I freaking hate this so much.
Uh, like, here's the worst part about this, is that this is actually some, like, Kanka and Black Swan are actually two characters I kind of need for, like, DOT setup. I do not have a working DOT team at all. But at the same time, I could just brute force my way through by building a correct any other type of team. Oh my god, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just like, this fucking sucks. And also, it's like, Robin's a really good unit, too. Like... Oh my god, this ban- this whole freaking banner is, like, stacked. I need to remind everyone that in this special warp event, the warp count for the guaranteed 5-star will be shared among the rerun banners and current limited banner. Switching banners during the warp will not reset the count for the guarantee, and each limited character can only be acquired from their own respective banner. Okay, the special fair warp enough. events will open periodically, giving viewers more opportunities to invite their. Okay, so Robin is a very interesting character, and what she does, is she's mostly meant for follow up teens, and what she does is she increases damage output of the characters. Like, she's not increasing their attack, by the way. No, 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 no. See, Robin is very weird because she's a harmony character that actually does kind of damage. Um, she sits out of the battle, so for the most part, I don't believe she can have damage dealt to her during most of the battle. And what she does is that she increases the damage done by allies. That's her main focus. Y literally i have no better way to explain it um another thing that makes her incredibly good is that i believe is that her ultimate gives her the ability to provide an aoe advance forward for the team so it's like when she uses her ultimate all three of her allies go next that's really useful their favorite characters to join the team and if you don't want to invite them you can still get more stellar J. i'm bad at thinking of it i just know robin is <clears throat> in version 2.5 second half okay so link shaw trailblazers can acquire the limited five star character link shaw i swear to god the, if the second half cone, is another three stays freaking true, character we'll banner have a boosted drop i'm rate. going at the same time the four star light cone shadowed by night will be available in the second half <sighs> of the event two not to mention the drop rates for the limited five star character Topaz and Numbi and Topaz? the limited five star light cone Worrisome Blissful will also be boosted. <laughs> All right. Topaz is already getting a rerun? What? Okay, I need someone to go back and check this for me. When did Topaz get her? Topaz got a rerun very recently, at least. It was back during, what was it, 2.2? So it's only been three patches since she's been up. I mean, it's the same with Robin at that. Like, Black Swan, of course, always made sense. None of us could deny that. But... And even Kafka, it's like, it's been a while since her rerun. But what? They just completely sidelined Ratio? Now, I'm going to be fair here. I've been saying that I didn't think Ratio was going to get a... That I thought Ratio getting a rerun, as much as it made sense, also was would be kind of weird because ratio was available for free all the way up until two point what the end of 2.1 like the only the only excuse you could give for having him go up is that people would want his light cones i guess in the end it's like they were like yeah the the light cone doesn't earn them as much money as the character so they decided to skip out on that banner that's that is nuts to me that's all for our commercial. I mean, our special news. Dear viewers, we'll see you in a bit.
My head is spinning now. I see what Cinescent meant. My head is spinning. It do be spinning now. What the hell are they cooking with this one? Dude, Hoyoverse is cooking right now. And I'm not sure that it's cooking up anything good. This is all pain. I don't want to know what next patch is going to look like. Shit, next patch is going to be Acheron, isn't it? Next patch is going to have Acheron. These mother... Ooh. I swear the worst thing they could do in 2.6 is to have it be Acheron, Sela, and what's another character that I would absolutely... Oh my god. Acheron, Sela, and Firefly. All in 2.6. Just imagine if that was the banner. I would die. Welcome back, dear viewers. Up next, we will be introducing the latest news about the war dance ceremony. The latest news? <laughs> but, uh, but our communications with the on-site reporter haven't been restored. <laughs> Damn it, March. <laughs> Leave it to me, Mr. Albert. Where is the connection port in the studio? Huh? Huh? What happened? I brought back the footage. Uh, hi, Albert. That was so scary. Someone with a hoodie suddenly gave me a hard drive and said something about connecting to the studio. What's going on? How did he... I used a hard drive to bring back March 7th's footage. And I'll use it to send over the studio's footage. It's very simple. How? <laughs> Looks like we can continue the program. Does, so this does that really is work like that? Solve the problem. Will it not be too difficult for Mr. Modza to run back and forth like that? Why? It's just running. Uh, my apologies. <sighs> Thank you for your hard work, Mr. Moza. <laughs> hey, March Seventh, can you hear me? Yes, Albert. No. The uh, highly anticipated war dance is about to begin. <laughs> And it'll take place on the Sky Splitter right behind me. We're in the port side audience seats on the upper floor of the Sky Splitter. The venue for the competition is just below us. Soon, oh my. the most man, that thing looks awesome. Wafu Ringmasters match will be held So I'm gonna here. guess that the war dance is actually gonna be an event dance, rather than the actual Wafu story, which I'm fine with that. Battleship into the venue for the competition. So on the Sky Splitter, you can see many traces of military weapons, like this huge cannon. This was Damn. the main cannon the Sky Splitter Somebody's was compensating for something. Now used for ceremonial gun salutes. Whenever a ceremony convenes, the Sky Splitter will fire a salute. Apart from the competition venue on the deck, the different cabins on the Sky Splitter have also been transformed into different areas to serve the contestants tourists and the media Farther wait hold down, on so are we just getting like a whole new like area to find chests and shit damn star skiff entry and exit hold i'll take that Currently, the war dance is still open for registration if you're interested in participating yo where do i sign up reception hall. we look forward to oh in the reception hall the okay that makes sense actually march 7th bringing you this latest report thank you march 7th the Luminary War Dance, the highlight yep, I was right. to that, the It's going to be an event. We'll finally convene in version 2.5. Totally. Lots of people signed up. Shang Shang's participating too. The general also. Shang Shang? Is, is that Su Shang's nickname? Of my favorite things to do. If I were allowed to, I'd go and fight a few rounds too. If the general participated, there'd be nothing to compete for. To keep the competition interesting, the best masters aren't allowed to participate. I'm guessing that the crew of the Astral Express chose not to participate for the same reason. Of course! After thinking it through, we decided to keep our reputation a secret and let the Trailblazer play the role of the gray-haired coach who doesn't understand martial arts. Hey! At the same time, a red-haired, iron that is young man very from insulting, Belava but very has true. Also, come to the Zianjolafu. Is that the planet that was once hidden in a snowstorm? Wait. I have heard very little about it. It seems that routes from Belabog to other worlds have now opened up. That's right. Oh shit! This okay. young man's name is Luca, 
Now is this perhaps hinting at a return to Bellabog to in the to next chapter? The mission of showing off Bellabog style. To Wait a minute, what is that? Cosmos for the I see time. something on the, the screen. Of the entire planet. That is either a wallpaper <laughs> or a light cone, <laughs> and you must now time, tell me what it is. In an unfamiliar place? I'm also no still pissed him, that it's a brand new light cone that comes out in the second half of the patch. Don't worry, Miss Link. I gotta get that now. Don't forget that the Trailblazer is also coming to the Sky Splitter. Our dear Trailblazer is known for being a kind-hearted person. They'll definitely not sit by and watch an old friend flounder around like a fish out of water. Uh, you sure During about the that, dance, Chief? The Trailblazer I would gladly let Luca just flounder around and fight with them through all the challenges. According to the intel I've collected, the Luminary War Dance event consists Dude, of Luca, multiple Dude, what do you use that hand for? In each competition, contestants must what do you first need an arm that big? in a point-based tournament to earn points. And only after accumulating a certain number of points will they qualify for the face-off match of that competition. That's right. Our contestant Luca needs to defeat key opponents in each face-off match. Apparently, he's got to beat up on Topaz. We can face the ringmaster Yin Shing in the final showdown. In order to show that the IPC takes this event seriously, the Inner Astral Peace Corporation will also participate in the war dance under the guidance of Coach Topaz. They may even face off against Luca in the competition. Ooh. In addition. Galaxy Boot Ranger, Hill, what Boot are you Hill, doing here? And the Knight of Beauty Argenti will hey. appear in the arena Wait, and Wait, will we cool. actually get voice from Argenti? Match, the Trailblazer will need to help Luca display his The next thing that I also to have to say is Argenti, man, you are everywhere. The, the two sides of the match will individually earn vibes based on how much the audience supports either side. So, the audience outside the ring can provide assistance? <laughs> it's just increasing audience participation and providing a more immersive experience completing Quick designated question. actions will it be a trial match, run luca because my luca sucks right now vibes and conversely cause your opponent's vibes to decrease when either participant's vibes reach the maximum the match will enter the enhanced inspiration state the participant who earns the audience's support will gain stronger buffs and easily win the match. All right then, March 7th. Is there anything you want to add? <sighs> Watching the preparations for the war dance with all of you has my hands itching for more. Put the swords it down, March. so happens I've learned a few moves from my masters. So why don't I take the opportunity to show them to everyone? <sighs> ha! Watch this. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? Uh, you I think the only one I think the, the only one impressed is you. Little Gui. When that happens, you'll all have to call me Sword Champion March 7th. <laughs> no. Oh, ow, 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 Did you just ow. stab yourself in the head? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know if you become Sword Champion, but I do know Sword Champions will hit themselves in the head with their own sword. Well, <laughs> I No, they am really don't. Still learning. But I think that everyone who's coming to participate in the war dance this time will have profound martial arts skills and will all be first class masters. That's right. We are all looking forward to enjoying a spectacular war dance ceremony. I found the problem. This uh -oh. guy chewed through the wires. That's why there was a problem with March 7th's connection. Uh oh. Ah, isn't this a tusk bar? I have one too. It is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep. Oh, so I'm gonna guess there's an event anxiety. based on this little creature. Such a lively tusk bird. Does it take after its owner? This is a little sudden, but its owner is the Trailblazer. Uh... That's right. Trailblazers can obtain the pet Tusker by completing activities related <gasps> to the Luminary War Dance. No. Oh. Summon it to their side. <laughs> Hold up. Cheer Hold up. Mr. Mo's up. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> We get a pet? Oh, my show's so unlucky. The team is currently fixing the we line. We get a Let's pet? Proceed. Great. Let's check out <laughs> the other exciting events this version has. Oh, yeah, done. we totally got called out. I don't care. We get a pet? The dance ceremony. The Lafu's rum keeping I really would prefer Bubbles the uh the, the, the trotter that we got from the that we got from the Pokemon event, but you know what? I'm okay with this. The Shackling Prison. The I'm okay with this. And the Divination Commission. For instance, 
The fun inventory we get our own little tusk loved is making a comeback. Look, I am a very simple man with very simple desires. Leave me alone. Every temple oh, I remember this. Has both normal and ascension difficulties. After finishing all the normal levels, you can unlock the ascension difficulty. Complete different activities. I remember to this one. This was actually pretty fun. Using the shackling prison as a stage for the festival is rather strange. It's also to spice up the judge's free time with some fun cultural activities and... Cultural activities being found together. in prison, <laughs> by the way. And, and that's not all. There's also a fresh update to the Divergent Universe. Ooh. This time, the Divergent Universe brings us new curios, weighted curios, and occurrences, along with some tweaks having been made to existing equations, weighted curios, Ooh, and okay. Blessings. The goal is to provide trailblazers with a wider range of battle experiences and gameplay modes. The Sounds like fun. in the Divergent Universe now features Cowboy Showdown and... Oh, Super I keep forgetting. Firepower I never completed challenge. that yet, so... Each challenge has different objectives. That still has Jades just sitting waiting for me. scores possible to earn adventure rewards. During the challenges, reward targets such as Cosmic Fragment targets and Curio targets will randomly appear. Smashing these targets will grant corresponding rewards, Wait. adding bonuses to the trial. Huh? This thing is interesting. It Yo, the Divergent Universe is really just trying agility. to take up all my free time Mr. now. Mesa, would you like to give it a try? If not, I'm up next. Direct <laughs> face-offs don't suit me. If I must pick one, it'll be surging firepower. Yeah! <laughs> Since you're here, why not join the fun? We've added Adventure Arcade near the Divergent Universe's activation device on the Radiant Belt Spar. In the arcade, you can try out a variety of new and old adventure modes. Oh, Miss that's Lynch, cool. Uh, if you've got some extra time on your hands, you should give it a try, too. I'll definitely check it out. Oh, so After you can practice work. some of the adventure that, mode stuff Dr. Ratio for fun. Added more All right. Equations to the Divergent Universe, allowing trailblazers to explore even more trails. The synchronicity level has also been increased to level 80, and the research of geniuses and Monday nights continues. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all. The Divergent Universe has also uh -oh. added two new, new planner, planner or ornaments. Lushaka, the sunken seas, oh, and no. <laughs> the wondrous Banana Amusement Park. In the next update, players can look forward to the release of Stagnant Shadow, Shape of Mech Wolf. And uh, Shadow, I'm glad Shape I didn't waste any time By farming Stagnant Shadows. You can obtain the Lightning type character Ascension Material, Nail of the Beast Coffin, and the Wind type character Ascension Material, A Glass of the Besotted Era. These materials will be used by Masters Mosa I'm really glad I didn't waste stagnant. time getting stagnant. The planer uh, farming for stagnant shadow stuff. Are also making a comeback. <laughs> Viewers, be sure to grab those double rewards. Ooh. <laughs> <All that laughs> More like double fodder. Take it easy on yourself, Albert. <laughs> That's work for you. <laughs> Let's take a short break. There are even more great things ahead. Okay. That's just code. Do, 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 do. All right. <sighs> Welcome back, everyone. Now that we've come to the end of the show. Are we I at the end of the there show? Was more to come. It's <laughs> yeah, exactly. The the show. Here comes the exciting part. What the audience loves most. The He's never not wrong. Ending, never absent gift of <laughs> He's not wrong. We do love ourselves a gift of Odyssey. Ten free pulls. Before the guests always shut of that with me. You're right. That's actually pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Right. Also in version 2.5, we've added new system optimizations. Ooh, system optimizations? Audience. Oh. Tell us about it. Yes. Version 2.5 introduces a new pre-battle difficulty selection feature. Wait, and what? the option to reselect the difficulty after a failed battle. Trailblazers can choose between casual mode and normal mode when facing formidable enemies. If you want a more huh? back adventure, Trailblazers can opt for the casual mode. Is it using some type of sacred instrument to weaken enemies? Oh, that sounds it's boring as fuck. <laughs> you could also call it 
metaverse tech. I mean, to be fair, Finally, I can wipe out most enemies we'll pretty easily, except maybe the bug. Not yet. We're just about to say goodbye to Like, the everyone. bug is the most difficult uh, enemy that I've got. It's been a really long day. Well, at least I managed to catch the end. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to Interastral Peace Media, the war dance ceremony organizers, my two masters, and most importantly, the Trailblazers for their encouragement. <laughs> Aw, thank I, you, March. Uh... March 7th! Kitty, how would you accept this page? Uh, I saw that other shows always end with a lot of thank yous. Anyway, I look forward to seeing everyone on the Sky Splitter and wish well, all don't the forget, the fake the collab the isn't even until like. <laughs> March what? nailed it. I could never. When is the fake collab? <clears throat> and at the end of the show, General Face. I don't have my phone on me, so I can't look it up. Words to everyone. From providing <laughs> testimonies to being entangled in the shackling prison incident, the Trailblazers are valued guests of the Alliance, who have come to our oh, yeah. numerous times. Okay. Only to you got like a year, man. <laughs> There is undoubtedly a you got like a year to save, so all right. We, take full we already know one character that's going to be in it. Emiya! And provide a vibrant war dance for everyone to enjoy. At the same time, I would like to take this opportunity to present a small gift to the Trailblazer on behalf of the Sienjo Alliance, mm -hmm. wishing them a smooth journey ahead. Should the Astral Express mm -hmm. face any difficulties in the future, don't hesitate to reach out. The gift of, what, what is this gift? A thousand stellar jades right. and ten thank fuels? You, General, thank you so wow, much, why thank you. Let's all look forward to I will take this wondrous together. gift. Catch you all in the next episode. Bye. Wait, March? There's something behind you. Huh? What? Hey, isn't that... If Albert's on the sky splitter, then who's this sitting here? Someone here wants double pay. I really hope you're home. <laughs> a, a strong desire to improve myself. See, <laughs> there you go again. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. I gotta say that was an awesome special program announcement. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm like, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I got to say, though, I, I do have to say the triple banner in the first half is crazy because that means they can do it again. Just, just to clarify that, they can do that shit again. We will never know when they can pull that shit, this shit out again, out of their hat. They're setting precedence for it. And that's crazy. Like, anytime there's a banner now, we will always have to ask, will it be a normal singular banner? Or, is it going to be a triple? And the other thing I'm really upset about is that the characters are all so good. Kafka, Black Swan, uh, who else was on? Robin, Fei Shao, Ling Sha, Topaz, and Numbi. Motherfuckers, these banners are freaking loaded. Like, I, I, I don't think I could say that any character here is an actual skip. Like, they're just not. Topaz and Numbi are really freaking good. And even if you're not rolling for her, her light cone is actually really good. Not just for herself, but if you missed out on it, it's also really good for Dr. Ratio. So, like, that's why Topaz Banner is often very popular because we don't know when we're going to get another opportunity for that light cone. So if your Dr. Ratio is still missing one, is still missing a good light cone, it's fairly certain you can go with that one. Man, I am so excited for this next for this next patch. It is looking like it's going to be a beast. But now I am scared for 2.6 because oh my god, I swear, if they pull out like Acheron, Sela, Firefly all in one sitting, I'm gonna throw up.
I I'm not even kidding. I'm going to throw up. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see what's coming our way. Yeah, Akron and Firefly. Like, I I'm saying for like 2.6, by the way. Like, just imagine. Because after... Because with Black Swan being up, that means they've done the 2.0 characters. So that means they'll be going with 2.1 characters for 2.6. So that's either Acheron or Aventurine. Either way, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a lot coming our way. I can't wait to see how this goes, but now I'm also terrified. And I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I think literally this is probably my best reaction that I have ever done. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I'm also ending stream here for the night, guys. So give me a second, and we're going to be seeing who's live for me to do a raid. So thank you guys for being here. Appreciate the support. And I hope to catch you guys in another one. Till next time, everybody. Peace.